Well, Stacy, after visiting all these different B&Bs here in Old Lowell, we definitely had to make a stop, so we came here to Bucks. We did, Chaz. And you know, one of the neat things about doing this podcast for me is getting to spend a little more time in those neighborhoods that I just seem to pass through a lot. Um, I come to Bucks for lunch. Um, I've been to Old Louisville for Shakespeare in the Park and St. James, of course, but not really spent an in-depth amount of time here. And after going to those B&Bs, never stayed at one in Old Louisville. Now I'm hooked. I mean, I I don't know which one to pick. Um, It's definitely on the bucket list. Well, the thing I find interesting is that, just like you said, I've driven through this area many, many times, and I've seen the bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm. This is my first time stopping in there, and you're right. It's like, wow, I just really had no idea. The history is amazing. I think we talked about you could literally spend the day just walking uh, along and seeing the architecture. You might want to check out the churches uh, podcast that we did as well, the architectural tour. A lot of the old churches are here in the old local area as well. Uh, But, you know, the oldest um, remaining Victorian neighborhood, the largest, still intact in the country right here in Louisville. Let's talk about what we had here at Buck's because we had a what, lot of great food. What didn't we have? Yes. Uh, Buck and his staff uh, did an amazing job. We didn't even order. They just brought it out to us. So I've got to refer to my list. We started with a lot of appetizers. Um, we had the crab cake, the fried oysters Rockefeller, and the regular fried oysters. We had the smoked salmon bruschetta, which had, which had goat cheese and a tomato relish on it. And that was just for appetizers. Um, oh, and not to forget the duck wontons oh, yeah. and this was a house-made duck chorizo with goat cheese no wonder i like those yes. um, then we had entrees uh, we had the spicy cantonese noodles we had the bucks hot brown which this hot brown uh, was your traditional style their twist was with a whole wheat cheddar garlic bread we had the crispy fish one of my friend's favorite items in louisville we had the bourbon chicken salt and boca which had country ham and fresh mozzarella and it was with an old forester bourbon sauce we had another bourbon infused dish the country Country fried quail and had bourbon in the peppercorn gravy, and we had the grouper. Um, all just absolutely uh, delicious. And I think it was something we, we we all got to taste so much of this food. And then every time we took a bite of something else, we were like, we can't get any much better. Oh, the flavors I mean, just, here just really amazing. We didn't need dessert, but of course we, we had, had to have, have it. it. So they brought us out the signature, which uh, is their mocha de croix. This is three layers of baked almond meringue. The bottom filling was a mocha buttercream, and the top was a rum chantilly. It was covered in powdered sugar, chocolate sauce, and then chocolate shavings. Mm -hmm. It was to die for. And then we also had the uh, peanut butter cheesecake. Everything just wonderful. And what I love about this place, too, is the white flowers. You come in, and and every day, lunch and dinner, they have beautiful white flowers on the bar. This is an official stop on the Urban Bourbon Trail, by the way. It was actually part of a hotel uh, back in the day. It was built in 1926 as the original Mayflower Hotel. And Louisville's first original house. Is that right? I didn't know that. Um, now, it's not a hotel any longer. The rooms are now apartments, but the, the restaurant is still here. And one of my favorite uh, facts about this place is President Truman visited in 1945, stayed in the hotel, ate at the restaurant. And I like to think, because he was such a bourbon drinker, you know, his favorite drink with his wife, Bess, was the old-fashioned. Huh. They drank it every night, they say. I like to think that he had it back here at the bar behind us. Who knows? Well, for more information about this episode of Bed and Breakfast and Bucks and Great Food here in the Old Louisville, please send us an email, podcastgolouisville.com. Of course, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and in YouTube. So as always, you're looking at Louisville. See you real soon.